Welcome, everybody. I'm just so glad that you could join me today. I thought today we would do just a fantastic little painting that I think you will really enjoy. So let's just run all of the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me today. Today we're going to be painting a chrysanthemum, just a beautiful little flower, the chrysanthemum. They blossom in fall and just brighten up your life. You know what else brightens up your life? Critters like Peapod here. God makes such beautiful little animals, doesn't he? Well, at the end of today's painting, we'll add in a beautiful little creature just for the fun of it. Let's get going and see what we're doing today. From all of us here, happy painting and God bless my friend. Hey there, everybody. This is Miss Bashman, and we are about to do chrysanthemum sumie painting. So for this painting, we're going to be pulling out our black and our gray, just like we have for all the other sumie paintings that we've done, as well as yellow and red. So you can use the same red you did for the plum blossom and the same yellow that you used for the orchid. We're going to be doing an Asiatic chrysanthemum. You know, chrysanthemums come out in the fall. They're kind of a ball-shaped um, flower. The Asiatic chrysanthemums have like these petals that are just kind of stringy and hang off a little bit, uh, a little bit more full than the American chrysanthemums that you're probably used to seeing. So we're going to use a chrysanthemum brush or an orchid brush, which is the smaller bristled brush. And we're going to start our flower by rolling our paintbrush in yellow paint or ink, wiping off the excess so we get a nice tip. And we're just going to lay down the bristles to create a sideways oval. Not too big, right there. I'm not in the middle of my page. I'm like, hmm, maybe like hmm, two thirds of the way up. And I'm not in the center. I'm off to the side a little bit. So this is going to be the center of our flower. Now, the chrysanthemum uses the similar petal shape that we learned in orchid, but we're making it much smaller and much more controlled. And we want these petals that we're about to lay down, we want them to be small and we want them to overlap and all move from the center of the flower towards the sunlight. Remember, always plants, their leaves, their branches, their petals are always growing towards the sun to try and catch that light. So it's almost going to look like parentheses or commas. And you want them to overlap. It's okay to overlap the center. It's okay to overlap each other. And you notice I'm just kind of laying the, the petals down, laying the bristles down. And I'm letting them get a little bit bigger or longer. I'm going further away from the center here. And it looks like flames. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush off. Dry it off on the paper towel so I don't have a lot of water. Remember, especially when you're working with these smaller brushes, if you have too much water on them, it's going to show. Because you get that watermark, you don't want that. So, oh, sorry. My phone is not on silent. So now I'm loading with red. I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to overlap and go a little bit further out than I did with, I'm going to turn my phone on silent for you guys, than I did with the yellow petals. This can take some practice. A lot of people have a tendency to. not quite get the, the shape right. It'll be too oval, too circular. Their petals might not be going in the right direction right away. Their petals will be too thin or too thick. You just you got to play with it. This one takes some practice. And look at pictures of mums too. If you aren't sure what kind of flower you're doing, it'll be difficult to picture it in your head. Remember, we're trying to capture the 
the essence of this flower. I'm just doing some wonky petals down here at the, at the bottom. So that's probably good for my big blossom. So I want to do a half opened blossom over here. So I'm going to clean my brush off of the red, dry it off real good. And this time, I am not going to do a center. I'm just going to do a couple of petals in a row like that because i'm looking at the bro the, the the blossom head on here the blossom's kind of tilted towards us so we can see the center of the blossom here we're not it's on an oblique angle so i did my yellow cleaning it off drying it off switching to red and again i'm overlapping Just doing a couple of petals like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna do the stalk and leaves. For the stalk and the leaves, we're switching to our larger brush. I'm gonna load it with some black, some gray, and like a little bit of the tip in black. And similar to the um, the sideways motion that we used for the plum blossom and the or or the bamboo we're going to use that sideways motion but this time we're going from the flower to the ground and we're going skinny to fat and i'm going to leave a gap for some leaves so watch what i'm doing i'm using the edge starting out relatively skinny going a little fatter i stop i lift up i go down here and i get fat here to the base i'm going to Roll in black here, create section here for that, a little fatter. So I've left a gap here and here that I'm going to put some leaves in. The leaves for the chrysanthemum, you'll have to look at them, look at some photos to see what they look like. They're big, they're fat, they're lumpy. So we're going to use our large brush, load it with gray, roll the tip in black so we get two different tones on here and just like we did again when we were doing the, the bamboo and doing the plum blossom branch I'm using the side of the bristles and up here you see how that made that kind of lumpy leaf shape so I show you how I did again <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little bit of a smaller leaf this is a leaf that's kind of like facing me use the side did some lumpiness there, some lumpiness in there, there. So I have two leaves facing that way. Up here, I'm going to have a smaller leaf. Maybe it's just on its side. So I just see a little bit of it. I don't see all of it. Kind of let it be pointy there. And you see how the leaves kind of fit into that little gap that we had. I'm going to let that dry for a second. So now I'm going to switch to black, nice and solid black. Roll the tip of my paintbrush in the black, wipe it off. I'm going to add veins to my leaves. You ever look at leaves and see how they have those nice veins kind of reach out towards the edges of the, the leaves? This one's on its side, so you're going to have a vein there and there. That is how we do chrysanthemum. And just for funsies, because why not? Take a little bit of yellow. Leave something down like that. Oh, this is going to be cute. A little bit of gray. A bit of black again. Just do a little bumblebee. Okay. 
All right. Let me move this a little closer so you can see. There we have our chrysanthemum and a bumblebee. Isn't he cute? Can you see? What? There's a the bumblebee. It's adorable. So remember, you're going to practice this three times on your newsprint. Take pictures of it and upload it to your Art Sonia page. All right. Thanks.